Hey guys, so um, we like to make smoothies and I do frozen fruit and we have like this old Oster blender and I literally am like shoving like the wooden things in there to like push it down into the blades that never wants to blend. So I've been watching a blender for a while. I wanted, I was thinking Ninja, but I just kept going back and forth. We finally ordered it. We got this Ninja, Ninja Professional. I, with IQ. So we're gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna wash up tonight, it's kinda late tonight, and then tomorrow when we make our smoothie, we will do a video showing um, how it works and stitch it all together. Um, mainly I want, the one thing I'm not crazy about with this is it's plastic. It seems like a lot of the blenders are moving towards um, like BPA free plastic. I just feel like glass is so much more sturdier and gonna last longer. Um, this one has like 20,000 something reviews on Amazon. Um, of course, there are the bad with it, but um, like four and a half, five stars. So, um, must be pretty good. Um, I did find a Ninja that was a glass one. And I thought about that one. It was like 50 bucks more. But the review said it's really, really heavy. So, it's like a blender you want to keep on your counter all the time. And I won't keep it on the counter all the time. I want to be able to put it away. So... I decided against that one. I want the Ninja, like one, they're usually pretty good blenders, but two, I like Blendtec is really, really good, but I just don't wanna spend $300 for a blender. We don't use it that much. I don't need it for sauces or any of that kind of stuff. So anyways, we'll get to it and show you what I got. And I think, remember how much it was? 70, maybe. We'll put it in the bait, in the ad just to see. Remember. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so here we go. Got our smoothie. See the first thing I want. Um, so it's supposed to crush ice to they say like a snow, so that's kind of ideal. Um, we don't put any ice in our smoothies since we use frozen fruit, so um. This is huge. So this is a lot bigger than our other one was. The oyster okay. you get stuck and it'd be bubbles because it's like a typical old school blender. It was just yeah. the one in the bottom. And that's the other thing that I was really excited about. If you look in here, um, I mean, you have blades all the way down. So normally the blenders just have the blades on the bottom and everything kind of moves to the bottom. And I thought this might work really well for us because it'll just be kind of cutting it up throughout. Um, the picture here, 2.1 liters, so that's a decent size. It's decently heavy. I mean, it doesn't feel cheap, which is nice. Um, and then here is our top, nice which top. I have no idea how to work, so bear with me. So there must be some lock on here. There's a release button. Okay, so you have to push the release button to get the handle up. And then um, it like slides into position and like locks on. And there's a bearing spot for the top of this tit of the uh, blade that goes in there. Well, I guess if you read directions too. Please push the release button and. I guess I got no light in there right now, but the tit goes into the top. When she pops it off again, we'll flip it out there and see. So yes, yeah, so you got your tit goes in there and that holds that in place when you're blasting. Oh, Ninja um, nut. <laughs> so there's um I feel like I'm gonna break it. Oh okay. So you gotta like really get it on there and then it goes down pretty easy. And then you have a little um four spout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is 
see we have a whole bunch of kids around us. Yesterday, we thought we were going to get it because it said that it was going to be here. And when it didn't come, the four-year-old was so upset she couldn't have a smoothie. But our, dish wa our wash machine part came instead, so that's, that, that's a little more oh, better for a, a family of seven <laughs> yes. when the wash machine works. So it has suctions, as you can see, which is nice because when it's going, it might not go anywhere. So it tells you on here, um, lock is to, so you've got to put it on and turn it that way. And um, like I said, it's going to be... So you heard that, it clicks in place, and I'm stuck to the counter, so I can't even see the front of it here. All right. So you've got power button. It has like all functions, smoothie, ice, ice crush, ice cream, but then you can also do like low, medium, high, and pulse. Um, She'll put it through the paces tomorrow when she's playing. Yeah, so I'm going to read through this because I just want to make sure that I... I got it going, but the other thing is that this is dishwasher safe, which is nice. So at least I can still throw it in the dishwasher because my old one I used to just throw in there anytime that we were using it. Um, so it has like uh, the auto IQ function, which um, just basically means that it will memorize kind of what you wanna, what your most used ones are, which is nice. And on the back, so they didn't show the back, it's stuck yet. It's got the fan. Is that what that is? Yeah. Something like, like that. Probably or something. Pull, that's Do a grand by there. You'll, it'll like either Tomorrow, pull the fresh air or blow it out. So I'm going to wash this first. Yeah, so it says whole fruits, vegetable smoothies, fibrous ingredients, seeds, margaritas, daiquiris, milkshakes. <gasps> that sounds <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Pretty Protein good. Protein shake. Excuse me. So, um, you have to play around with it. Um, with the auto IQ, if you preset it and you push it, it'll go until it's like your normal setting. And so there's ways to get it to stop and stuff. But anyways, it's lightweight. I mean, it feels heavy enough where I don't feel like this is going to fall apart or break easy, but then it's lightweight enough to move it around, which is nice because like I said, I, we have enough on our counters. I don't want to keep it on the counter all the time. I want to put it away. So I'm going to wash it tonight and then tomorrow when dad's not home. Stupid work. <laughs> we will uh, make a bed. My job's smoothie. great, so don't get me wrong if anybody from work works. But come on now. I'd rather be with my family. If we want to party, we can party on the side. But, uh, yeah, we we got to work. So. Yeah, so we'll, the kids and I will try it out. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yes. And that was easy. If you just see it, like this turned really easy. So it locks in. I guess it's really easy to unlock there. So um, hopefully tomorrow we can fill it up and test it out. Um, nine cups. That's a lot. That's this a is lot. bigger than our other one. Absolutely. That's too. bigger. I actually kind of like the boxier thing too. Look. So Bust the one out tomorrow just to show yeah, the size comparison and stuff. <laughs> old and just I'm gonna warn you now it's old and it's been through its paces but time to get retired and move on it might be a little shaky tomorrow because I'm gonna be filming it it'll be on the tripod <laughs> it'll be just fine all right guys well we will see you tomorrow when we make a smoothie as always thanks for watching thanks guys talk to y'all later see y'all bye Hey guys, so we are back. Everything's cleaned. Um, per the instructions on um, in the Ninja books, you the lid and this piece right here are um, top rack safe, and then I threw the this part on the bottom. Everything went fine. Um, John, hand me that top Ninja book. Nope, sorry, the other one. So we have a quick start guide, I think it kind of showed you with the opening. They actually have some recipes in here, salsa, soups, all kinds of stuff, dips that you could do, um, shakes, drinks, kind of cool. Um, I read through this a little bit, so we're just going to work with the smoothie setting and see what happens. So for our smoothies, um, so I have this triple berry blend, which is uh, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, 
um, frozen fruit. Oh, the other thing too is there is a, um, it's gonna be stuck to my counter. There's, there's a max liquid. It's actually at the eight, eight cup mark. Um, I'll show you here. Um, and it even says it on this side too, liquids max. Um, they said don't fill it up any further than that. So we're gonna go ahead and start filling this up. So we do frozen fruit. We don't do ice and ours. We're gonna go to about there. We're gonna throw in a banana. You see it all, Ben? Yeah. It? Okay. Everything's good. Um, throw in a banana here. Um, I got some spinach. Now my kids actually eat their veggies quite well. Um, but just to make it some healthier, we're gonna throw in some spinach. So it's gonna taste amazing. <laughs> Always. Um. I'm going to throw in some almond milk here for the liquid part. You see it filling up. Now, I don't measure anything out, so um, just kind of go with what, whatever you would prefer. Got some cinnamon. We'll throw in some cinnamon here. Last but not least, I have some, let me grab, grab me a spoon, um, some vanilla Greek yogurt that we will throw on the top here. It smells good. <laughs> it does. Alright, so that's what we do for our smoothies. So, let's see what happens. the smoothie button didn't work to get that all done because it's now done so now we know that I'm actually going to add some more liquid though because I don't think I put enough almond milk in I'm going to go ahead and do that and see if that helps I'll run the smoothie again um, if that doesn't work then we'll just move to the um, low, medium, and high So that was a couple pulses.
100% my fault because I didn't have enough liquid in here. You want to grab grab the old blender. I'm going to show you what Brian said we would show you kind of a comparison. It's just underneath the cabinet under that chair. So you could see what we were working with before. Um, and this is just the pulse, but kind of giving it another mix up. But there's our smoothie. Don said he wants to be the first to try the smoothie. It's kind of thick today, though. There we go. All right. Mommy, cheese. Cheese. Super thick. Maybe do you want to come out? Liquid it up a little bit. Cause it's too. We need a lot of zoom out to see. Yeah. Oh, this is a lot bigger than the other one. the pulse in the medium in order to turn the medium off you would just hit the medium button again yeah so so that looks better hand. that looks better there we go that looks good oh i'm gonna go my <laughs> can you get the other one so here's what you're working with like i said this one's really dirty and nasty Mom, it's a but this one's max is six cups. This one's max is nine. So definitely holds a lot more. And these buttons just, uh, everything is dirty and messy, but you can see the difference in the blender. Yeah. It's a complete difference. So anyways, yeah. So we're going to drink some smoothies. I'm going to have to make another batch. Mom, one good. batch won't be enough for everybody. And it's good. we'll go from there. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay. Um, John says it's good. Wait, wait. You like you it, gotta, John? You gotta test me. Gotta test me. <laughs> oh, Ben wants me one to test it on you. Okay. Maybe I should do it. Okay. Well, I don't know why you just took it. The other thing, too, they said if you do have something that's thick and doesn't want to come off, you could just take the lid off because it will, um, then it'll just pour you when you get some more cups. Good? Good stuff. Anyways, there's our smoothie with our new Ninja. Everything worked out perfectly and it, I might have one of these every Everything morning. looks good. So yeah, so, so far so good. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Mom, I might